Now taking you back out to MacDill Air Force Base, Vice President Kamala Harris is meeting with service members there this afternoon. This video is from just a few minutes ago. You can see her meeting with members of the 6th Air Refueling Wing. You can see uh, the commander there on the right side of your screen shaking hands and uh, then we'll meet with members yeah. of CENTCOM as well. Yes, yeah, still to come here just before 6 o'clock, she will sit in on a briefing with CENTCOM. Uh, this visit capping off her day-long trip here to Florida. The vice the vice president started her day in Orlando. She made an appearance at an Alpha Kappa Alpha event where she talked about fighting for women's rights. We need to continue to fight for a woman's right to make the most intimate, personal decisions for herself with her doctor, with her pastor, with her priest, with her loved ones, but not her government telling her what she's supposed to do. And she zeroed in on Florida's new 15-week abortion ban. In Florida in particular, there's no exception for rape or incest. So I'm here to speak with these leaders to talk about what we can do together to ensure that we use all that is within our capacity to protect the women of America, which includes the women of Florida. A lot of her message today centered around women and minorities in the fight for equality in elections, home ownership, and economic opportunities. That our country must build more wealth and opportunity for all communities, that is part of what we fight for. And our administration then invested billions of dollars in minority and women entrepreneurs. Now her visit here to Tampa will focus more on our military at McDill Air Force Base, where she will get a briefing from U.S. Central Command on operations in the Middle East. This comes just days after a drone strike killed a leader of the Islamic State in Syria. And after that briefing, she'll tour the Joint Operations Center inside of U.S. Central Command. It's called the Jock. 10 Tampa Bay recently shared that story with you as we sat down with the former commander. If you'd like to see what that looks like, we'll send the story straight to your phone. Just text the word CENTCOM to the number on your screen, 727-577-8522.